The strong stocks continue to be strong. The bulls today took uppercut after uppercut after uppercut and another one and another one. And they actually went green in the day. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessOfTrader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody uh, is doing well. I am uh, going to be a little preoccupied as I record this video. Uh, I'm watching Tesla as everybody sees. Uh, they just came out with earnings. Uh, so far, the initial reaction, you know, big spike into the 150 level. They tried to sell it off initially, kind of went sideways a little bit. And then the stock started kind of coming back and it got stuffed into this 148 level. Uh, yesterday, when I recorded the video, this is how quickly uh, things change in the market. Uh, but yesterday, when I was recording the video, uh, Microsoft was up 10, 11 points. Everything was flying. By the time uh, Kyler edited the video, uh, next thing I knew, you know, you know, it was over. It was a complete, it was a completely different video. So uh, I'm going to be a little distracted in case uh, Tesla starts to spike up right now. Um, I'm going to watch this. You see this, guys, you see this 148 level here, right? Maybe it triggers later. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe the stock goes down 10. I have no idea by the time uh, you get this, uh, you get this recording. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch, uh, you know, I'm going to watch this 148 level. There was a couple of entries already above this channel here, above this channel here. It stopped at supply. Uh, but I'm going to watch this 148 level. The conference call starts about uh, 5.30. Uh, let's see what, you know, let's see what they say. Um, obviously, uh, the reaction is much more uh, important than, uh, than the numbers out. Uh, at first sight, I just, again, all I did was just literally read the headline. Uh, it didn't look bad, right? It says Tesla reports... Uh, record revenue uh, beats on earnings. Uh, again, I, I really don't care about uh, ultimately, uh, you know, going through the, the report on a fine uh, tooth cone. But the most important thing for me is is the reaction. So at, at the 5:30, uh, let's see what they say on the conference call. And if it does start uh, building above this 148 level, who knows? Maybe it goes back to uh, it goes back to the highs. But this is the level. In case we you get this video before the ECN closes, 148 level is going to be super duper important. Assuming you know, assuming they come back uh, for this level, they tried to test this 148 level, got rejected. Uh, let's see if they come uh, back for it again and start uh, putting in uh, higher highs. We'll see. We'll see about that. Anyway, so let's talk about the day. Uh, crazy, crazy day. Uh, again, you had this incredibly, uh, you know, incredibly big reversal uh, last night on uh, Microsoft's earnings. If you guys remember, it was from went from up ten to down seven. Uh, it woke. Uh, it woke. You know, it, when you woke up this morning, it was down eight. Uh, and to, 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 the, to the really, really, the good, the good aspect of what we're seeing right now in the, bullish, uh, in the bullish environment, they're continuing to still gobble up bad news. And if you traded today, you saw the epitome of what a bullish sentiment looks like. Uh, again, here's another perfect example uh, of a stock that uh, is a leader, obviously uh, one of the top you know, two, three uh, important components in the NASDAQ. Uh, in the NASDAQ 100. And, you know, the NASDAQ this morning was down 250 handles. Uh, Microsoft looked like it was going to fall from hell in a handbasket. We'll get to the to the pivots in a second. It was a really nice pivot here uh, off this uh, 234 level. We'll talk about that in a second. But more important is what happened later. And if, if you look at every single uh, chart on the NASDAQ 100, you'll see stocks defended certain levels. And I, and I started, you know, I started uh, talking about them on, um, I started talking about them on uh, the Twitter feed. And I said, look, Microsoft reversal today uh, destroyed many upside natural pivots. The initial value today, right? And this is kind of what we talked about is potential bounce plays for both NVIDIA and Tesla at the bottom of the ranges, right? If they get there, remember, you don't need to be, you don't want to be short. Remember what we talked about last night's video? You don't want to shorten to the hole, especially in a bull market scenario. Well, this morning was another perfect example. Anybody who shorted anything today, for the exception of Microsoft, on an opening range low, you can see here, you know, nice, you know, nice little three dollar move there. Uh, but anybody shorted anything in the, in, in the hole this morning, okay, on that gap down got absolutely destroyed, and that's kind of the point. And not only did the bulls fight back today, 
Uh, every stock that tested the bottom of the range, whether it was Apple testing the 50-day moving average, held and rallied, whether it was NVIDIA, whether it was Tesla, right? They all held their bottom of the ranges. Whether it was NVIDIA, Tesla, you know, they, they all went. And that is super bullish. At one point, Microsoft got green on the day, which is incredibly, incredibly important to understand. And once the bulls started rallying, it was unbelievable reversal. Uh, the market held up incredibly well. And now, you know, the question is what happens tomorrow with the Tesla, right? Tesla being uh, the catalyst. As of right now, you're getting a pretty muted reaction. Again, Again, we're talking about that 148 level, whether it's today, tomorrow, maybe it doesn't happen, right? Maybe by the time uh, you get this video, the stock is down 10. We don't know. We could only uh, talk about and and um, uh, and wait for things in, in real time. So that 148 level is going to be super duper important, whether it's tonight after the conference call uh, or it's going to be tomorrow uh, at, uh, at the open, right? At the open. So we'll see uh, what happens there. Uh, the cool part what we saw today was even though when the market started getting uh, super aggressive to the downside was how orderly these moves were. And this is kind of my point. When you look at stocks and all the major all the major players, look where they held, right? They, they all held rising support. Here's a perfect example. Apple came, they tested the rising five and the 50 day moving average held. NVIDIA came all the way down, right? To the five day moving average of this 186 level held. Tesla came back to this, all the way to this five day moving average, right? Look, guess what happened? It held, and that's the, that, that's the sign, right? People are debating uh, whether it's a bull market, bear market, you could call it potato, potato, you could put a tomato, tomato, you could put lipstick on a pig, whatever makes you sleep better at night, right? Price action is price action. Our opinions, again, for the multi-millionth time doesn't mean anything. Stocks are either going to reclaim levels, defend them, and go back higher, or they're going to lose levels, confirm them to the downside to start a next leg up. And so far, what we're seeing is really, really good, uh, strong market action. If you haven't traded long enough, again, I get it. You have your opinions and this and that and the other thing. Once you start trading 10, 15, 20, 25 years, I'm trading uh, next year, it's going to be almost a quarter of a century. Say that out loud. And, and how it even makes sense that somebody could be trading, at least me, of all idiots of all idiots, could be trading uh, that long. But I'm going on my 24th year. Uh, unfortunately, this is not my first rodeo. I've gotten caught in phases of my career that I tried to guess, tried to rationalize. Again, the market doesn't make sense. It doesn't have to make sense. Somebody's tweeting at me, well, what'd you think about Tesla's free cash flow? I have no idea what any of that stuff means. All I know is if this damn thing starts building above 148, You'll see exactly what, what free cash flow means or doesn't mean or all that stuff. It's all irrelevant. It's all price action, right? Netflix missed their numbers, but the subscribers went up. I can't believe it. The stock sucks. It doesn't make it. The stock is $50 higher. It doesn't matter, right? Microsoft had horrible numbers, or at least high, horrible guidance. The stock erased an 11-point move, and the stock at one point went green in a day. It doesn't matter, guys. Trust me. Your opinions are great. And that's fantastic. And I think everybody should have a voice. But the only thing that matters, literally matters in trading is price action off the data, whether it's news, catalyst, earnings, whatever the case may be. You might think something looks you know, looks, looks fifth, uh, shady and the, uh, and the report looks crappy. But if the stock market is telling you, hey, the, the values to the upside because they're taking out previous channels, that's all you need to know. You, trust me, your career will last super longer if you put you know, put on the blinders, right? Put on the blinders, look at the data in front of you and trade the market that you have, not the market that you want. So going into tomorrow, again, uh, a slew of earnings tonight. Not everything, uh, not everything was rosy today. After the close, uh, you had a, a lot of, you know, a lot of you know, a lot of disappointment, right? You had, uh, you had, you know, LAM Research, uh, you know, LRCX. I don't know if they had come out with earnings. I, I'm just so much stuff going on, but LRCX uh, got smashed. The ironic part about LRCX getting smashed, NVIDIA, right? NVIDIA is only down like 50 cents from the close. That's super bullish. Uh, look at MU that's setting up really, really well. And, you know, MU is down what? 20, what, 10 cents after the close on the LAM research number. So you can see the strong stocks continue to be strong. The bulls today took uppercut after uppercut after uppercut and another one and another one. And they actually went green in the day. And when you look at the final tally, the Dow, the S&P were flat and the NASDAQ after being down a whole ton, right? Finished down, you know, 20 points on the day, which is phenomenal. And again, if you go back to the previous couple of nights, right? A couple of uh, sessions, you had 500 plus move in the NASDAQ 
in two days, going from Friday to Monday, and yesterday took a body blow, today took a body blow, and guess what? Just like Rocky Balboa, it got off the mat in the 10th, 11th round. It came back swinging. Let's see if they start resuming uh, for tomorrow. So let me give you guys a couple of names that I'm definitely watching for tomorrow. I think in nausea, I talked about Tesla, uh, where it needs to confirm. Uh, Micron, look at Micron, right? Had a big, big move, rested for the last couple of days. If it just starts building above this upper channel here, this thing could stretch. Look at NVIDIA. NVIDIA has been an absolute monster right it's all green bars even trying to sell the stock it's one green bar after one green bar if they could just take out the channel man they were coming for the 200 and 205 calls ahead of earnings like they were you know like they were giving out free lunch so definitely definitely keep an eye on uh, nvidia for the next couple of days uh especially into weakness uh buying into uh buying into rising support sticking with the semiconductor theme look at amat right look at applied materials look how close this thing is to busting the top of the range. The semis led the market down in 2022, and now the semis are holding strong. So any rally, any firmness of, uh, of the tape tomorrow, uh, you could have a resumption here uh, in, in, uh, in the semis. And Boeing, right? Boeing was down a lot today, right? Boeing had a great reversal. Again, another example of bad news being engulfed. And again, if you're a bull, this is exactly what you wanna see. And I've been saying this for years. I'm not a bull, I'm not a bear, an opportunist, but your eyes don't lie. So if they're trained, trying to take down Netflix on bad earnings and it goes green. They try to take down uh, uh, Microsoft on bad earnings. It went green for at one point. They try to take down Boeing. You know, Boeing went all the way down to 203. The stock is $10 off its lows on earnings reversal. So we have our theme, we have our sentiment, and as long as the bulls continue to build over the 50-day moving average on the Qs, I, I think good, all, no, no news is good news. And as we get uh, further indeed uh, into the earnings quarter, uh, we'll get a lot more clarity. So let's talk about some, uh, some it, there weren't really pivots. There was only one natural pivot today. Everything else was bounces. Uh, these two stocks, uh, these two stocks uh, didn't confirm. Again, here is the, you know, here is my morning notes on the Twitter feed. Uh, Microsoft reversal destroyed many upside natural pivots. Initial value today is potential bounces of both NVIDIA and Tesla off the bottom ranges if they get there. Remember, you don't want to be short into the hole, right? That's exactly what happened. Uh, I misspelled hole. Sometimes I'm, I'm typing and I'm thinking too, too uh, fast. Sorry, I'm dyslexic. Uh, especially in a bull sentiment, I'll start putting in pivots as they develop. So here it is, right? Tesla for experienced traders. 139.40 is the bottom of the range. If bulls defend, can snap back reports after the close. Here was Tesla, right? Here was Tesla. Here's a 60 minute supply. It got down to the bottom of the range here, right? It got down to the bottom of the range here. Reverse course, the stock went uh, before even the open, uh, before the report, it went to 146, uh, excuse me, 145, 146, 146, really, really huge move. You had an eight, nine point reversal uh, off the bottom. Uh, here is NVIDIA. Again, NVIDIA for experienced traders. 186 is the bottom of the range. If bulls defend that level, it could snap back. The low of the day on the video was 185.80. So you could tell how super important that bottom of the range was. Bulls held it. They defended it. They rallied it right back. Stock, uh, you know, NVIDIA's, you know, traded up to 193 and changed. Huge move there. Microsoft, here's one of the very few uh, natural pivots. Uh, Microsoft for experienced traders. Uh, 234 is the bottom daily channel. If the pre-market lows, if it builds below, can flush. Here was Microsoft, right? Here was Microsoft. And again, Microsoft had a phenomenal reversal, but here was the 134, right? Here, excuse me, the 234 area traded right down into 60 minute support in the 230 uh, and change level, and then huge reversal. And again, that's the whole point of what I'm talking about, uh, bullish sentiment. The reversals are just absolutely huge if you don't understand where supply and demand uh, is going to come in. And the last one is, oh, snow, a little, you know, little scalp on snow, went down like 75, 80 cents. And here's Netflix. Again, here's a, you know, another perfect example. Netflix, uh, 263.20, rejected twice on the 60 minute. If the market gets better, it needs to confirm. And here it was uh, Netflix, right? Here was Netflix. Here's the 263.20. You see this whole area here? 263.15, 263.19, 263.20. It finally took out that 263.20 and just went absolutely nuts, uh, rallied about five bucks uh, into the close. So if you are uh, watching this video before eight o'clock, uh, again, that two, uh, 148 level is going to be uh, super important on Tesla. If not, uh, watch that area for tomorrow. If the bulls start building and price action the stock, 
Who knows? Maybe you could get a nice uh, big move. That's it, guys. Have a great night, everybody. God bless. There's a lot of things going on. We're in the middle of earnings season. But the most important thing is keep calm, stay patient, take a deep breath, and be an adult. Guys, God bless. I'll see you all tomorrow.